Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of GTV. And today, um, I think this is something that's really interesting no, for a lot of my followers. Because I've been getting a lot of inquiries Now I want to be a blogger, I want to be a vlogger. So today, my guest is my dear friend, Mommy Pepot. So hi, Mommy Pepot! Hello, hello, hello everyone. Kumusta kayong lahat? Hello, Mommy Ginger. I miss you. I know, ako rin. Kanala ko yung last time natin na nagkita. Nag, ano rin tayo? tayo. Ma, nag-live tayo. Nag-live yes, tayo. So. <laughs> so, I think, no, um, maraming, maraming, ako rin, super excited to get to talk to you today because I've seen like a lot of, um, a lot of changes in the industry. Aside from the changes in the industry, I've seen how you're navigating through all of these things, no? And parang, I want to learn from you as well. Kasi ang galing-galing mo. Grabe, idol ko to. Actually, ito yung idol ko. So, maybe, wow naman. maybe before that, Pepot, you can share with us like your journey as a mom blogger. As a blogger in general. So, I have been blogging since... Uh, 2008, ang tagal na, <laughs> ang tagal na pala. So, <laughs> so, sa mga hindi nakaka-intindi, blogging is like having your own website, di ba? So, it's it's different from blogging wherein you, you, you post stuff through videos. So, ako, I started blogging talaga. Having my own website, nagsusulat talaga ako kahit hindi ako marunong magsulat. <laughs> so, dun ako nag-start talaga as, as a blogger. Pero ngayon kasi parang medyo, parang uh, yung, 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 yung tayo ngayon it's it's different na from from back then no parang yeah. iba na iba na yung culture iba na yung way ng ng deliverables or something to that effect parang ang laki na ng changes di ba so ayun yeah. tapos paano mo na discover yung blogging before pepot like I, how did wh- how did you get started dito ah uh, paano nga ba at as kasi ako naman i must stay at home mom Simula na nag-start kami na magpamilya. Talagang mutual decision yun that husband will work, ako stay at home mom ako. Pero parang okay naman from nung una. Pero darating ka pala talaga sa point ng buhay mo na maiinip ka. And you will also look for something na parang, ha, parang pagod na ako maghugas ng plato. Parang I need something na na for myself to do for myself naman. Parang ganun. Yung, yung pakiramdam natin, ha, hanggang dito na lang ba ako? <laughs> Drama, di ba? Hanggang dito na lang ba ako sa pag... Oh Habang nagkukusot ka, parang hanggang dito na lang ba ako sa pagkukusot ng labada, parang ganyan, di ba? Pero, so, so I tried, talaga sinubukan ko din na sinubukan ko magkumita through um, yung usual uh, direct selling kasi hindi naman ako graduate ng college. So I know that corporate world is not for me talaga. So I tried yung direct selling, real estate, pero hindi, hindi siya... Hindi kasi siya applicable sa amin kasi my husband is really ano he, he really wants yung 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 nasa bahay ako mm-hmm. and syempre the kids ang hirap alam mo yan diba you're a mom so alam mo yan na ang hirap umalis ng bahay talaga when you have toddlers when you have babies diba yeah. so ayun doon ko na start na parang pag-isipan na or, or nag nagtingin-tingin ako ng iba pang pwede pero parang wala tapos tumating yung time na mayroong nag-offer na parang oy pwede ka kumita online ganyan mm-hmm. so doon siya nag-start so, di ba nasabi mo na, na parang nag-start ka na blogging as in sulat talaga and parang feeling mo you had no skill for it. So, can you tell us more about it? And uh, kasi a lot of people have this fear na, naku, hindi ko alam yan, hindi ako marunong magsulat, di ba? So, paano ako magsusulat? So, how did you overcome that? Kasi I started sa, ano, sa forum lang nung time namin. Ewan ko kung meron... Siguro yung mga OG na mga, na mga bloggers o mga OG online people. Alam yung mga forum like MyLat, yung mga Multiply, yung mga ganyan. Ito, may mga so, you know, dun, <laughs> Oo, so dun ako nag-start kasi pwede ka na kumita pag mahilig ka magsulat. So, since wala talaga akong knowledge sa pagsusulat, in fact, bagsak nga ako sa communication sa <laughs> college. <laughs> So, talaga, parang, just ko, parang ko gagawin to? Parang, oh my gulay. Para, para kumita ha, kailangan ng sulat mo, essay type. Hindi nga ako marunong mag-construct ng, ng isang paragraph. Parang, parang ko gagawin to? So, doon na nag-start na parang, syempre gusto mo talaga eh. So, nag-research na ako, paano ba sumulat? Paano ba pahabain yung sulat ko? Yung ganyan. Tapos, doon na nag, paunti-unti, parang na, 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 
na-realize ko na ito pala talaga yung gusto kong gawin matagal na. Parang madaldal pala talaga ako in real life. <laughs> hindi ko lang, <laughs> hindi lang ako marunong na. Yes, exactly. Parang hindi ko lang kaya siya gawin na parang hindi ko lang, para paano ba, hindi ko lang ma-organize yung thoughts ko before. So, pero ito pala talaga yung gusto ko. So, so imagine na, ah, yung katulad ko na hindi naman graduate ng college, tapos hindi naman writer talaga. Pero, pero nagawa ko kasi because it's something na nagustuhan ko rin naman at na meron namang resources that will help you to, to do it na, na magawa mo siya. So, naging madali na lang hindi naman pala naging madali, pero mas naging um, manageable na lang pag nung, nung natutunan ko na how it is. Ayun. Nice, nice. So, paano mo, when was the time that you really decided na, oh, ito na, magpo-full-time blogger na talaga ako. Magpo, sorry, full-time content creator na ako. Paano ba? Pa- pa- paano when do you decide? Kasi di ba sabi ko, stay at home naman talaga ako. So, Oo. parang, parang, na nag-start naman ako dito, parang, I think, nung siguro after two or three years, na-realize ko na ito nga talaga yung gusto kong gawin because I'm enjoying it eh. And my husband knows na I'm enjoying it. So, very supportive talaga siya sa akin na kung anong gusto ko, if I need something for, for I need a camera, I need, I, I need a laptop, he provides talaga kasi he knows na nagustuhan ko na rin itong ginagawa ko. So, this is really something that I do for myself and not just for the family kasi di ba you earn extra na. Pero, I, I, ang main main talaga is I do this for myself para para y- ito yung parang hobby ko or ito yung kar- sabi natin career ko parang ganon so, so when did you start earning pepo like when did you actually now receive yung syempre no reap the rewards of that effort was it right away na parang nung nag-start ka ng blog did you already earn or when did you actually start earning already siguro not right away or Paano ba? Kasi when we started, parang nung time, I think parehas tayo ng nang nang era, no? Oh. Ah, seryo? Pareho lang kayo, 2018. Alam mo yan, di ba? Parang nung time natin, puro ano lang, puro product seeding lang, di ba? Papadalan ka lang ng product. Siguro started earning, mga 2-3 years ago lang naman nag-start talaga na yung formal na, na your earning na talaga. Although I know a lot of people, a lot of bloggers na they've been earning uh, earlier, pero ako kasi medyo late in the game na in terms of ano, earning professionally through blogging and through being an influencer. Medyo late na rin ako nag-start mag-earn eh. Parang mga two to three years ago lang din talaga. Nag-start. Oo. So, ikaw, yeah, oo. nakita ko like how you, grabe, ang laki na ng network mo, Pepo, and even also like the visits mo, like the followers mo, like, sige nga, can you like share with us best practices? Like, how did you grow to be that big right now? Ah, uh, paano ba? Kasi, ah, uh, teka, sige, isipin ko from the start kung paano siya nag, nag-start na, na lumaki ng ganun. Kasi sa Facebook page siya talaga malaki eh. I think started when I joined mommy, ma, uh, mommy groups. Doon siya nag-start. Tapos, kasi ko nung ako lang, Parang everything I, I I I write, everything I post, it's all about me. Kiko ano lang yung nararanasan ko. So, when I joined yung mga mommy groups, parang nakita ko doon na oh, meron pa pala silang ibang ibang struggle. Parang ganoon. Tapos tapos na-relate ko din sa nangyayari sa akin. Tapos nung nakita ko that that these moms uh, parang need a voice or something to that effect. Parang doon siya nag-start. Yung mga yung mga meron silang mga tanong na na I don't know if they, they just can't express it uh, fully or or hindi nila mahanap yung sagot. So doon siya nag-start na since I am here and dito ako, I have the uh, I have the technology, I have the, the resources to do it. So usually mga tanong nila, i-research kong mabuti then I will post on my page. Tapos doon na nag-start na para ha ah, from from 5k biglang pagising mo 10k likes agad. Tapos parang after a few months 100k likes agad. Parang ganoon. Parang nakita Oo, so super nakita ko na these moms, they, they really need, uh, yung community ng mga mommies, they really need uh, information. So, they, they, you need to feed them feed on them na parang may mga info talaga sila na hinahanap na, na hindi nila kayang hanapin agad-agad. So, so parang ganun, you have to be the one to to help them na na ibigay sa kanila yung information na hinahanap nila as, a, as an influencer, as a mommy blogger, na ikaw naman yung talagang may kakayahan to do it, di ba? So, doon siya nag-start. That's so nice. Kasi parang it really started with listening, no? 
listening to your market, listening to the people who will eventually read your blog. And maybe, ano, yun, parang inaku mo na yung responsibility that you're the voice, you have the resources to s- sort of speak for them. So that's where you really like felt the increase of the followers, no? Which is, yeah, magandang point yun, no? Because not a lot of people think of that. They always think na, okay, pupunta ako dito, I'll just copy what everyone else is doing. I'll not listen to the audience or the base who really matter, no? It's hindi naman yung parang hindi naman yung competitor mo or no, whatever you see, di ba? Like usually you see them or us as competitors. But it's really about oh. giving value to the base or to the audience or to the readers, no? Or to the viewers later on. So in terms of the challenges uh, naman, Pepa, no? I know that you encountered a lot of challenges aside from not having the skill required for this particular craft, no? What other challenges yung nakita mo along the way? It can be like emotional challenges, it can be your personal challenges, it can be challenges sa, sa buong industry that you, that you see, no? So maybe you can like name a few. Oh, uh, siguro ano, Uh, I don't usually say this in public, ha? pero as a blogger na, na marami din na uh, kilala naman na bloggers, and, and you can see them on Facebook, you can see them on their Instagram, you can see, you, you, di ba, yung community natin is very tight naman talaga. So, nakikita mo sila. Yeah. So, dumating din naman ako sa point ng buhay ko na parang, bakit sila may ganun? <laughs> bakit ako wala? <laughs> yung ganun, siguro yun yung isa sa mga biggest challenge ko back then, na parang, Anong meron sila? Bakit ba, 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 bakit may loot sila? Parang bakit meron silang Christmas padala from this agency or from this brand? Bakit ako wala? Parang ganoon, 'di ba? Parang I, I think everyone, hindi mo hindi niyo man aminin, nararamdaman niyo yan once. Yeah, nararamdaman niyo yan, 'di ba? So to diba? talk ako, I have that bout as well, no. You see na sabi nitong ni Mommy Pepot, no. For everyone, everyone undergoes that, no. Everyone goes through that challenge. You parang ako, like kailan ba 'yon? Like just recently, siguro nung nag-quarantine, na parang dahil nga parang um mas marami kang time, I guess. So nakikita mo kung ano man nangyari. Parang ano nangyayari? Bakit parang huli na ba ako? Like, kailangan ko rin ba mag-tiktok? Yung mga ganon. So, so you go through that self-doubt na, na bakit, bakit hindi ako? Bakit sila? Yung ganon, no? So, tama. Very, ano naman, it's, it, um, it's not just you, Pepot, no? It's, it's a lot of people. So, aside from that, no? Aside from that emotional struggle, no? Mer- meron ka bang nakikitang challenges or na-overcome din na challenges? I think, I'm gonna, for that challenge pala, it's, What I did to overcome it is I don't take it personally na parang it's not against the blogger parang oh si Ginger may natanggap nung Pasko ako wala I hate Ginger now parang ganoon hindi <laughs> parang oh, okay may natanggap siya ako wala okay let's move on siguro there is something na na wala sa akin na meron sa kanya so I just focus on what I do best and see see maybe next time ako naman siguro ang uh, mapapansin din nila ako so just Siguro just focus, yung ginawa ko to overcome that is focus on my craft and not focus on what I, uh, parang focus yung mga sa ibang tao. So, nag-focus talaga ako on on making my my site, my website, my page, my Instagram uh, better. So, parang doon ko siya, uh, through that ko siya na-overcome. Ayun. Tapos, ano pa ba ang challenges ko na, ano, na, 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 na oh, because I'm earning na parang, oh, may mga projects na na medyo malaki, alam mo yan. So, parang kailangan mo na, and kailangan mo na maging parang in a way professional din. So, meron na mga, 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 mga terms na nakakalito, katulad ng, uh, ng VAT. Ano pa ba? Ano yung term na, bahala na kayo mag-compute, wala akong idea sa ganyan. <laughs> Holding tax, yung mga ganyan. <laughs> I would like to thank talaga you, Ginger, for introducing me to Taksumo. Kasi naka- malaking tulong din talaga yung, yung ginawa niya sa akin para, ano, para maging mas professional yung career ko. Kasi I registered through Taksumo. Yeah. So, yeah. Siguro isa sa mga, isa sa mga challenge. Tama ka, no? Na yung challenges, one of the challenges that we face is really like 
we think about our craft, tapos we don't think of the admin stuff when money starts coming in. Nakakalimutan yeah. na, ay, negosyo pala to. Hindi lang pala to hobby, di ba? Eh, sayang naman if you really want bigger clients no later on. So talagang kailangan mo rin intindihan yung part na yun. Okay. So, sige, you mentioned no, dun sa first, cha- yung sa first challenge na, which is overcoming like emotional uh, challenges and then focusing on just improving your blog, no? improving your blog, improving your uh, page, your groups. So, anong ginagawa mo, Pepot, para ma-improve mo siya? Like, what do you actively do? Like, to, 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 like, know what to write about, know what to post, know what uh, know what what's out there. Yeah. So, how do you improve? Yun lang siguro yung tanong ko. It's really uh, Usually, halimbawa, when, when it comes to blog, sa website, so I, I read on stuff about pa, paano mag-improve ng traffic, paano mag-improve ng, ng uh, SEO, yung mga ganyan. So, I, 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 I read talaga. I, I research kung paano ko, kung paano ko ma-increase yung traffic ko or kung ano yung magandang, um, anong magandang tools to use, uh, plugins to use para mas mag-improve pa yung website ko, mas maging mabilis pa yung loading ng website ko. So, more on technical talaga when it comes to sa, sa website. is O, yun, yung ganun. Tapos, when it comes to... Ba? May technical Wala. Ba? <laughs> Wala. <laughs> 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 okay, super impressive mo naman. So, talagang kaya ba- naman, no? Kaya naman even if wala yeah. ka background, di ba? Oo, if you can read, if if you have good good comprehension kahit pa paano, kaya mo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ka, I... Kaya talaga. At tapos, when it comes to halimbawa Instagram naman, is, 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 ano, paano ba? Medyo mahirap ang medyo struggle sa Instagram, no? Pero just, uh, when it comes to Instagram kasi, what I do is just uh, focus on creating content kung ano yung bagay sa feed ko. So, I, I usually take time planning kung ano yung mga post na gagawin ko. So, katulad ngayon, if you're going to visit my Instagram page, Mami Pepot, you can see na medyo may, may arte siya, na parang isang isang client siya, puro mukha ako lang. Ganda-ganda sa sarili. Ito kaya. Ito kaya. Ito kaya. Arte sa Instagram. <laughs> yan yung weakness ko, eh. hindi ako magaling mag-angle-angle, filter-filter. Kaya mo yan. Ganda-ganda mo. Kaya mo yan. Promise. <laughs> Kaya mo yan. Sige, sige. So, ganun. Sana, sa, um, sa umpisa lang, sa umpisa lang, parang nakaka-cringe na parang, eh, mukha ko na naman. Pero <laughs> <laughs> mas, kasi sanay. Feeling ko rin. Kasi sanay ka rin. Ako na naman. Gusto sanay ka rin. Gusto nila makita pag mumukha ako. Parang gano'n yung feeling ko all the time. May, nag, may nagko-comment naman, tsaka nagla-like. So, sa mga nagko-comment po ng mga aking, uh, mga post ko ng mga mukha ko, thank you. I love you all. Maraming salamat. Thank you so much. Sa pag, uh, <laughs> Thank you sa pagtanggiling sa mukha akong ito. Okay. So, so then, masasanay ka din. Yes. Yeah, so, Tapos sa Facebook. Sa, sa, ang, galing, ang galing mo nga. Like, parang sa Tagal. Like, so, ano yung secret mo to like longevity? <laughs> In terms, talagang longevity eh. Anong secret mo <laughs> sa longevity ng vlog mo, sa pinaggagawa mo? Like, Ano, di ba? Like, kunwari, for example, si, si Madonna kasi, di ba, sinasabi niya, si Madonna nag, nag-rebrand ng ilang beses, di ba, para tumagal talaga. Ay, grabe, ang tagal ng career niya, di ba, as Madonna. Yeah, oo nga, no? So, like, as a blogger, is there such a thing as that? Like, rebranding? Is there such a thing of, um, as, um, I don't know, refreshing, rebooting something? For, for you to achieve that longevity. If hindi naman, ano yung secret to lasting this long? I think, siguro kasi sa akin, nakita ko yung audience ko. So, you know naman na kahit, I mean, honestly speaking, kahit mamatay na tayong lahat, andyan pa rin yung pagiging nanay, di ba? Kasi ako kahit, ang dami ko ng anak, yung nanay ko, nandyan pa rin. Pag sabi, nanay, masakit ulo ko, pwede mo ikaw magluto. Ah, luto siya agad, di ba? So, so, I think, Nakuha ko yung audience ko eh. Nakuha ko yung market ko. So, so sa akin talaga is, wala namang rebranding. Ay, siguro, slightly meron. Parang, you you have to know kasi parang kung ano yung, ano na yung, ano na ba yung uso. So, ano ano ba yung, so, kung dati, uso yung mahabang, mga mahabang sulat, mga mahabang, mahabang story ah. Pero ngayon, parang hindi na. Parang kailangan medyo ano na. Parang dapat short na. Kasi medyo short na rin yung ano nila. 
yung attention span ng audience mo. So, so hindi naman siguro big time rebranding, but you just have to ano talaga, just have to to know yung feel nung nung ano mo, nung audience mo, especially your followers kasi, 'di ba? Sila naman talaga yung kakausapin mo. Sila naman talaga yung para naman sa kanila talaga yung yung most of your contents, 'di ba? Tapos always remember na although a lot of people are doing this pero cross posting talaga is 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 the key sa iyong pagbagsak <laughs> joke lang mm-hmm. <laughs> hindi naman ganon pero as much as possible do not cross post as much as possible talaga i think that's my that's yan naman lagi ko sinasabi sa mga especially sa mga mga friends ko na hangga't maari wag kang mag-cross post hangga't maari you have to make it as if like um uh yung content mo sa Facebook is is something that they can uh, meron silang mapapalang information pero still pag pag naglagay ka ng link mo to your blog or to your website meron pa rin silang makukuha na information that to that parang ganon. so for example nagpost ka sa uh, Instagram mo ng video about you uh, uh, making nagmi make up ka so ganun lang nag yung technique lang and then or if you want to learn or if you want to know kung ano yung mga products na ginamit ko you can go to my YouTube account wherein I post yung longer video parang ganun so you really have to capture them sa lahat ng hangga't maari capture them sa lahat ng 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 social media accounts that you have so ganun so let the channels oh galing ah that's a practical tip that's a practical tip that uh, people can do no so uh, iba-iba dapat yung content tapos um sort of one leading to another and then to another to another platform ang galing okay so paano yung ano like i'm curious no like so for for facebook like paano paano mo na organically na grow ng ganun kalaki like, what are the practical tips that you can share with us, siguro? Ah, uh, siguro number one is yun nga, know your audience. Sino ba yung sino ba yung balak mo na na kuhanin as followers? So alam mo dapat yan. So if you know your audience, you go to to communities. Kung travelers ka, kung traveler ka, you go to um uh, mga travel travel groups ganyan, di ba? So like me, I'm a mommy blogger. So I go to nagjoy na ako ng mga mommy mommy groups. Mm-hmm. And then from there nakita ko na kung ano yung usual. Syempre makikita mo naman doon kung ano yung trending na topic. So mm-hmm. parang in a way sasabayan mo yon. Uh-huh. So makita mo naman doon so halimbawa uh, uh, uso ang TikTok pero hindi ka naman kailangan mag TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so syempre mamimili ka din ng topic uh-huh. na, na 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 feeling mo ano rin sa iyo. Okay, right now halimbawa katulad ngayon ang usual uh, na topic is or uh, siguro um mga two, three weeks ago, di ba? Parang all moms, ang fear talaga nila is yung pagpasok sa school, di ba? So parang, anong, 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 anong gagawin natin? Papapasok ba natin yung anak natin? Parang, paano pag pinapasok natin? Eh, paano kung mahawa, di ba? So, you, ano dan, uh, nung, nung sinubukan ko na mag-post ng something like that, medyo malaki din yung naging, naging rich niya talaga. Kasi nga, all moms, is yun yung talagang takot nila. So, ayun, you really have to know your audience. You really have to know yung yung fears at yung mga uh, mga ko ano yung bagay na makaka-relate sa mga followers mo. Okay. In terms of like brand naman no. Uh, 'di ba most of uh, well most of the kita talaga no. Kasi maliit lang ngayon sa Google talaga, 'di ba? Google AdSense. So most talaga of the money comes in through like paid sponsorships, the ba from brands, from partner partnering with agencies, ganyan to give us like clients. So ano yung ano, what are the tips para number 1 for new mom bloggers na gusto makuha ng mga ganyang deals? Like paano sila mapapansin? Number 2, what are the mandatories that they should like have, no? Should that they should think about as well when dealing with brands and agencies. And number 3 siguro is siguro let's talk about I, I guess you can touch on this point na rin, no? like professionalism in the in this industry. Number 1, paano sila mapapansin? Uh-oh. So kasi halimbawa ako I have a set of products na talaga na gusto ko. Mm-hmm. So, meron talaga akong mindset. Since, since these are the products that I use at home, so ito lang din yung, ganun yung mindset ko kasi eh. So, kung mapapansin nyo siguro sa, 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 sa mga social media accounts ko, I don't usually post uh, contradicting 
ano ba? Yung magkakalaban na brands. Ayan, mm-hmm. parang ganun. Kasi siguro, at home naman, we don't use yung mga ganong brands. So, kung ano lang talaga yung yung brands na ginagamit ko sa bahay, is yun lang yung most likely i-accept ko na deal. Mm-hmm. So, hindi talaga ako nag accept ng, I know, I know some brands, especially mga big brands, very ano sila sa ano, ayan, pipian sa mga nag-start pa lang. Very, ano sila sa, sa parang loyalty. So, if, if you're targeting, say, anong brand ba? Siguro, example, Pampers. If you're ta- targeting Pampers, as much as possible, huwag ka mag-post ng, ng, ng ibang daya per brand or anything mm-hmm. that, that, that will, uh, in the future jeopardize yung, yung yung possible collaboration mo sa sa kanila. So ayun, yun yung 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 isa sa mga ma-share ko talaga sa inyo that I don't usually uh sa so pagmayan talaga akong focus sa brand, yun lang talaga. Hindi ako nag-accept ng hangga't maari, hindi ako nag-accept ng ibang brand. Ayun, tapos ano yung question mo pa yeah. sa para sa mapapansin. Like sa so dami-dami ng mommy bloggers kasi right now, like how do, how do you stand out and Paano, paano ka makukuha ng brands for these kinds of contracts and stuff? Ang, 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 sa, sa totoo lang, ang hirap, di ba? Pero siguro it all boils down to how you 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 build relationship with the, ano, with the, with the agency. So, syempre, ako naman, nags, hindi naman ako nag-start na, na, na may bayad agad. So, parang nag-start din muna, sige, sa una, pa-free-free lang, parang ganun. <laughs> di ba? Parang you have to, you have to, Parang feeling ko ganun kasi you have to build relationship with them na parang o oh, pag nakatrabaho ka nila once kahit hirap na hirap ka sige push lang ng push trabaho lang ng trabaho ganyan So you really have to build relationship pero kung halimbawa bago ka pa lang maganda rin na you, you build relationship with other bloggers ah, syempre paano ka ba mapapansin ng brands di ba syempre itong mga brands na to chine-check naman na nila yung mga bloggers niyan katulad ni Mami Ginger katulad ko katulad nila Mami Frances yung mga ganyan na brands na mga blog bloggers or mga influencers na kilala na talaga ng brands so as much as possible ayan peep true makipag interact kayo sa kanila you comment on their post so you they would the, the brands would see na oh so so Meron pa palang ibang ano, meron pa palang ibang ibang mga bloggers aside from these people. And also it helps then if you will ano, may mga may mga groups din naman na nagpapa-sign up for for ano for seeding. So sometimes it helps lalo na if you're just starting. Okay mm-hmm. din naman na mag mag-post ka for free, di ba? If you're just starting, just always remember na you have to ano, yung katulad nga nung sabi ko na, wag kang tipong ah uh, ngayon halimbawa magpo-post ka about natural beauty, tapos biglang kinabukasan, nagpadala sa'yo ang whitening product, magpo-post ka rin ng whitening product. So, wag ganun. So, you have to know kung asan ka talaga, kung ano yung kung ano yung, siguro that, that pag doon din papasok yung branding, kung natural parenting ka ba talaga, or kung anong klaseng ng parenting ka ba talaga, kung okay, dito ako sa ano, dito ako sa all natural, tapos biglang mag, mag-introduce ka ng daya. Pero, syempre, diba, parang, parang hindi naman, mm-hmm. hindi siya related na sa'yo, parang ganun. So, you have to know din kung ano yung, kung ano ka as a blogger, kung ano yung stand mo as a blogger. Oo. Alam mo, agree ako dyan sa sinasabi mo, no? Kasi, like, uh, a, lot, a lot of people nga, parang, yun eh, parang para lang siguro mapansin, parang, sige, sige, accept ko to, accept ko yan, ba? Kahit na parang hindi na siya aligned, or if it, it's basically, parang hindi na yun yung totoong pagkatao mo, basically. Kasi hindi mo naman talaga ginagamit, ba? Or yung products, hindi mo ginagamit, no? So, in terms of, yung sinasabi mo nga, na interact with, with, the current mom bloggers. Yes, you should actually. Like ako marami akong ang mga nakikilala ko or yung mga natatandaan ko lang are the people who actually interact with my let's say Instagram posts, my Facebook posts, and yung mga nakakausap ko talaga like DM. Kasi sa totoo lang hindi naman kami mayabang eh. Or hindi naman kami like papansinin namin talaga kayo. Like yan si Napepot, papansinin Ito. naman. Papansinin naman namin kayo eh. It's not it's not like hindi namin kayo papansinin, di ba? So, so yun. So, ganun din. When you, when you interact with brands later on, that's their mindset also. Eh. That's, that's how they deal with people, eh. Ang matatandaan nila are the people, basically, who interact also with them or who interact with the people that they interact with, di ba? So, magandang ganun. Na parang, 
magtutulungan tayo naman eh in this industry eh. And in terms of like, let's say, like sabihin nyo, like, Mami Jinj, ano naman eh, sobrang, let's say, sobrang cluttered na eh, or masikip na yung mami blogging space eh, di ba? Pero sa totoo lang, like, each one of us, we're, vi- we're individual people, no? We're very unique in our own special way, di ba? Like, pepot, or have, like, marami siyang alam na hindi ko alam, no? Marami akong alam na hindi alam ni Pepot, na hindi alam ni Frances, na hindi alam ni Nikki, ni, no? So, all of these mom bloggers, like, we have different, we're different, basically, because we're different human beings, diba? We're, all of us are unique. So, if you think that you don't have something unique to offer, that's not true, because all of us are unique individuals with our own strengths and weaknesses, no? So, yon, lagi niyong iisipin yan, it's not it's not something na hindi na ako makakapasok or don't think of it that way, you know? Just freely share what you know. Freely share the things that you want others to to know, no? About you, about your life. And, ano, like, focus on that, di ba? Tama, Pepo. At parang really focus on what you want to share and uh, with other people. And maganda rin to encapsulate yung sinabi ni Pepo about values as well, no? Kasi yun, it's, it speaks... Uh, it speaks loads of who you are as a person as a person when it comes to like yung values no like if you stand for a particular thing and you're not true to yourself it will shine through eh makikita ng mga tao na teka bakit bakit pagka pagka ano pagka kunari kunari lang ha sobrang business ni Ginger tapos parang out of work pala, hindi niya naiintindihan yung mga pinagsusulat niya, hindi pala siya marunong. <laughs> hindi ba? Parang, ano, parang hindi niya, parang hindi, hindi pala siya, hindi pala yung ganun yung pagkatao niya, di ba? So, so, so ganun, no? So, always stick and stand by what you, your values are and who you are as a person. Sige, so, um, Okay, so another thing that I wanted to ask is mom blogging versus other kinds of bloggers. Do you see a difference like when it comes to I I don't know no like anything that you can that you can say and think of. No, there is there a difference between mom blogging and other kinds of bloggers? Uh maybe before, maybe in the current situation, maybe in terms of the type of work that we get, maybe in terms of like pay as well. So, or how we deal with brands and companies. Sige, baka you can, like, you want to share your thoughts about that. Oh, parang ang hirap sagutin ng tanong actually. <laughs> <laughs> Mahirap talaga ako magtanong dito. <laughs> Pang-miss pang pang you. Pang-miss you. ng mommy vlog. Siguro ano, uh, teka, isipin natin ha. Ano ba yung mga other type of bloggers? Like travel bloggers? Yeah, ganyan? Sige, yeah. yeah, travel bloggers. Sige, let's go through it. No? Like, like some bloggers. Uh, fashion bloggers, travel bloggers. Maybe also in terms of platforms na ginagamit. No? Platforms. Uh-huh. Uh, let's say, ano pa? Let's say more lifestyle bloggers, food bloggers. Ayan. So, in general, what do you think? Like, what are the differences, no? Siguro, in general lang, if, if all about the topics that we post, is mostly not centered on us as individual. It's uh, mostly hindi, mm-hmm. although it's about experience, our experience as a mother, as a parent, pero yung mga sinashare natin usually is about our family, di ba? So, hin- hindi siya centered sa atin. So, I think that's siguro lang yung main difference natin sa kanila. Kasi, alimbawa, when you travel blogger, it's you share your experience as, yes. as, as you travel, di ba? Makeup blogger, yung make yung pag-makeup nila sa sarili nila, di ba? Tayo kasi hindi. Parang tayo is all about the family, all about our kids, our, our husband, what we cook for them, what we do for them. So, yun. I think that's the main difference. Very, very ano, very more on about them and not about us. Mm-hmm. Tapos, ano, chika lang. Oh. <laughs> nag- <laughs> sige, sige, game. <laughs> may, may nag-chika sa akin na ang mommy, mommy blogger community daw ay mas mababait. Wow! <laughs> mas, oh, naman. mas warm kumpara sa ibang mga community ng vloggers. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko alam kasi hindi ako part ng ibang community. <laughs> oh. Hindi rin naman ako, pero may, oh. may nag-chika lang sa akin na Maybe like, ano, siguro, oh. Sige, siguro kasi we share this 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 um 
this an an bantabag dito. Meron tayong something na yung pag nakita mo na oh you're a mom blo- you're a mommy blogger, I'm a mom blo- mommy blogger. Parang hindi naman tayo magkakilala pero we, sh- we share the same puya, the same pangke, <laughs> the same alam mo yon. So parang <laughs> instant siguro that's why sabi nila mas mas parang mas close yung community ng mommy blo- mommy bloggers kasi parang magkatingi nang pa lang na uy may man chai damit niya. Al- alam ko na yan kung ano yan. Alam ganun. <laughs> We tend to be more forgiving sa, sa, mga, sa mga mali natin. Parang, ah, puyat lang yan, ayan nyo. Parang ganun. So, I think that's one of the, ano, one of the main main difference ng, ng ibang community sa atin, siguro. Yeah. Oo, tama, no? Kasi nga, parang more, I guess, we empathize because we have so many things to think of. So, para oo, oh, nadaanan ko na yan, naranasan ko na yan. Tapos, siguro, another thing that makes us different will be, like, Uh, it's not just about us because we usually talk about our family. Tama si Mommy Pepot, no? So, uh, I think we have to be more privy about the privacy also of our husbands and our kids, di ba? So, yan, si husband, like ako, kunwari, bihiran nyo makita si EJ sa mga blog posts ko because he's not too, like, open to, like, sharing himself, di ba? As a person, like, as, as compared to me and Zika. Kasi some people might ask, Ginger, bakit kayo lang ni Zika yung nakikita ko madalas sa mga posts niyo, di ba? So, you have to respect the privacy also of the other people in the family. And, syempre, when Zika comes to age later on and says, Mommy, ayoko nang sumama sa mga posts mo, then you have to respect their decisions. So, maybe yun nga yung difference. Because normally, pag fashion, pag makeup, beauty, ikaw eh. So, it's your own decision. Oh, oh. Diba? Walang, walang i-involve na ibang people. Sige, that's good, no? And then, in terms of like, sorry, may kodigo ako, kaya ako tumitin <laughs> sa mga... In terms of, kasi dami ko questions para kay Pepot talaga. Gusto ko talaga matutunan. No. Gusto ko malaman. Actually, yung sabi mo na privacy, yung iba nag, nagugulat sila na, lima, lima, na five pa lang kids ko. Kasi usually sa, sa sa content ko, si Marius lang yung pinapakita. Kasi siya lang yung may gusto. So, yung iba, I, I ask them, okay lang ba na ipost ko kayo? So, pag hindi, okay, sige, hindi kayo kasali ganyan. <laughs> So, I asked them talaga if okay lang. Ayun. Minsan pumapayag naman sila. Yeah, alam mo yan, it's very important, no? Kasi syempre, even if you want, no? Even if you want to be a mom blogger, um, importante yun, eh, na nire-respeto natin decision ng mga anak natin also. Huwag natin pilitin, yes. and please, huwag natin pilitin yung mga anak natin. So, you'll come across like, other, like, let's say, no, like, contracts or scope of work na kailangan kasama sila, you have to ask them before that. And, kunwari, during mm-hmm. the day na mag-shoot ka, kung wala sila sa mood, you have to tell the PR agency na, teka, wala sila sa mood, eh. At saka bata yan, eh. Buti kung, like, teenager, pwede mong sabihan na, hindi, commitment to. Pero, pag bata yan, syempre, kung wala sila sa mood, wala talaga sila sa mood, di ba? So, so, yun. So, I think also on the other side of the spectrum, PR agencies also and brands should acknowledge that as well. That we as mommy bloggers, we're not just the only ones that you deal with. No? So if you need our kids to come with us, we have to respect also yung time nila. And we try naman to, to really um, uh, adhere to deadlines given to us. But, but there are some factors talaga that you need to give us like a little bit of... Um, and tag doon a little bit of like maging maluwag duration yes yes, yes. But, maging maluwag naman kayo sa amin kay papaano kasi hindi lang kami eh di ba so yon okay so in terms of like let's say x deals um do you still accept mga x deals at this current time and if you do like what are the like what are the types or industries that you accept x deals on yes oh naman at uh Especially mga small negosyos, like uh, CEO Emporium, may mga ganyan. Yung mga small time na, na alam mo naman na if, if they, if they uh, interact with you or if they approach you, yun know, na malaking, malaking, uh, malaking kabawasan yun sa budget nila. So, syempre hanggat maaari, you don't charge naman. Mm-hmm. So, okay na yung padalan ka ng food or padalan ka ng staff nila, okay na yun. And uh, kahit naman sa mga big brands, so, minsan depende din sa approach. And may kukwento ko sa'yo. <laughs> Sige, bigo may natin. So, there's this brand na nag-approach sa akin sa IG and asking for my rate. Mm-hmm. 
something like that. So, sinabi ko yung rate niya. So, parang hindi niya yata nagustuhan. So, parang merong pangmamata, pangmama, pangmamaliit, pangmamaliit na pangyayari. I can't remember. Basta yun yung naramdaman ko sa PM niya sa akin. Parang, 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 parang okay. kinakasyon niya yung rate ko. Okay. So, sabi ko sa kanya, you know what? Uh, nag- tumatanggap naman ako ng 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 uh, free stock ng uh, I usually post for free lalo na kung if the product is I'm using it yeah pero unfortunately hindi kasama doon yung product mo hindi ko ginagamit yung product mo parang ganun mm-hmm. pero sa totoong buhay ginagamit ko naman yung product <laughs> <laughs> kasi nang <laughs> medyo biyak <laughs> lang siya <laughs> ay uh, yes so, depende talaga sa approach, talaga. So, meron din naman isang big brand na parang sabi niya, Mami Pepo, sige na, sabi, sabi ko, ah, eh, kasi ito yung rate ko, so medyo malayo yung hinihingi mo. Mm-hmm. Mami Pepo, sige na, kasi please, ito lang talaga ang budget. O sige na nga, parang ganun. So, depende oh. rin talaga. Take note, ayan, mga agency, take note, yung mga, yeah. mga lalo na yung mga, nag, mga, mga, mga marketing na medyo bago pa lang, tandaan nyo palagi yan, approach is the key. Yes, <laughs> yes, right. that means. Totoo. Diba? Parang, it, it's all about that. Yung way ng pag-approach mo dun sa, sa, sa influencer, sa blogger. Kung, kasi, especially the big, the big ones, mm-hmm. binabayaran niya ng, ng mahal na ng, ng, ng ibang brand. So, you, you can't question their rate kasi na, yan yung binabayad sa kanila talaga. So, if you really want to, to, to build a relationship with them, makakuha ng free, free posting, you really have to, ano, to invest on a uh, relationship with them. Yeah, I super agree with that, no? So, kasi sa totoo lang naman, which is related sana to my next question also, which is like your pricing, no? How do you price yourself? Pero we can talk about that after this. But more of, yeah, kasi if that's what they think they're worth, no? That's what they 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 will charge. But hindi naman siya, it's not like it's cast in stone na nandyan. It's just that, syempre, since other other brands pay us for that much. We want to be fair also, di ba? With dealing with, with, with other brands. So, dapat ganon. And dapat we, we, if you need to negotiate, negotiate with us. It's not like, di ba? And negotiate in a nice way if you want to negotiate, di ba? And we're open to negotiation naman. <laughs> hindi naman siya parang, hindi, yun talaga yung rate eh. Di ba? I mean, uh-huh. if, yeah, and if it's, and if we tell you, yun talaga yung rate, nanggaling siya somewhere no nanggaling siya because possibly i don't need the brand that you're offering me so i can't really lower your rates or i can't even accept x deal kasi hindi ko naman ginagamit diba so sayang lang yan parang diba uh, yeah or talagang eto kasi yung makukuha ko eh kung kung hindi ko tinanggap sa inyo it's opportunity lost for me diba so yes. the, the, oh. i can i can accept another brand na ganito yung rate so tama tama so in terms of pricing pepot so how do you price yourself no is there a, like a scientific way or like how did you get to your numbers right now uh ako naman is based on how 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 some of my projects were priced so dun ko na lang binis so right now meron akong specific uh, set of rates for my services pero syempre when I, nagtawad yung agency so, depending on the brand, yeah. on the timeline, scope of work. So, depende, it depends usually. Pero at least, meron na akong base na, oh, ay, hanggang dito lang talaga ako. Parang ganun. So, I think when when you're, you're pricing, especially for newbies, ha, yung mga bago, yeah. syempre, ang, 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 yung mga bago lang sa industry, tapos offeran sila ng 500. Wow, it seems like a big price na rin, di ba? Especially if wala ka namang ginagawa, nasa bahay ka lang, magpo-post ka lang. Hmm. But you have to remember, guys, na when you do that, when you're in social media, when you post in, in social media, when you post as an influencer, you're not just posting, you're just not making a caption. Uh, you're also the model, you're also the scriptwriter, ikaw din ang production, ikaw din ang videographer, ikaw din ang editor, ikaw din ang content creator. creator. Basically, the full house production, ikaw lang yan, nag ka lang. So, always consider those aspects when you're pricing. So, hindi po pwede yung quirky feeling mo, ah, okay na to, malaki na to for this one. Tatanggapin mo na. So, you, you always have to consider yung mga ganong factors na ano ba yung mga kailangan mong gawin. And syempre, when posting, especially if, lalo ng first time mo, hindi po pwede kang magpo-post ng ano, ng blur. Yung yeah. kaganyan. Huwag po, wag, di ba? Ang mahal na pong murang smartphone 
na pagkalinaw ko. <laughs> Kaya naman tayo sa London na laging, laging makulimlim. Nasa Pinas tayo, maaraw sa atin. So, make use of that. You don't have, you don't need ring lights. Hindi mo kailangan ganyan. Most of the post that I post on my IG, walang walang special light na ginamit doon. Uh, araw lang talaga. Bintana. So, so yun, bintana. Bintana. Yes. <laughs> bintana is the key. Ayan, katulad niya. Bintana is the key. Ayan. Yes, oo. So, ayun, don't, don't, ano, tingnan mo yung trabaho mo as a whole. Huwag lang as something na, ay, ipopost ko lang naman to. Isang picture lang to. Post ko lang, caption lang. Okay na, tapos na. Pero, it's not about that, eh. Ang dami mong effort, ang dami mong, uh, ang dami mong binuhos doon to, to create something like that. So, always remember din na, katulad nung sinasabi ko palagi, anything that you post, Anything that you create, anything that you, you you post in social media, it's a time away from your family, di ba? So, sure. always value yung time mo versus dun sa time na nawawala sa family mo. So, if it's, if matagal talaga siya, lalo na kung mahirap siyang gawin, you have to price right naman talaga. Yeah. Um, aside, maganda yung sinabi mo. Aside from that, no, parang naisip ko tuloy, like, I think you have to be strategic also. Yung time away from family, no? You have to be strategic. That's the reason why you need to charge, no? So, a lot of bloggers say, na kailangan niyo mag-charge. Bakit? Like, para some people say, like, ah, oh, bakit? Hindi, eh, okay na to sa akin, libre. Okay, fine, libre. Okay naman, di ba? I mean, if you want libre, di fine. But, you have to think of it that way. That's time na kinuha nila from time spent with family. And, I know yeah. you're doing this for your family. So, Diba? So, anong bibigay mong value sa sarili mo at sa pamilya mo? Diba? So, that's the reason why you need to charge. In terms of charging naman, that's a very good tip, no? yung sinabi ni Pepot, that um, she based that on uh, yung previous work niya, yung kung anong chinarge for the previous work, now that she's better, ganito na, now that she's better, ganito na. So, parang it's a gradual increase. And normally, kasi very, yung brands naman, they have a scientific approach on how they tier you, no? Kung sa kanila nilalagay. We can talk about that later on na lang in another episode. But but they know exactly like where you stand in terms of the tiering, no? Dun sa tiering, sa level mm-hmm. ka isasama, no? So, that's a very good indication kung saan ka. And when you start, it's good to know also where you are. So, that's sort of like an audit, no? Like ako, that's what I do, eh. I, I audit kung okay ba ako, am I too expensive, am I okay, am I good, no? So, one of the quickest indication, no, can be if people consider you, if brands and partners consider you pa rin. Kasi if they consider you pa rin, that means you're in a very good, parang maganda yung pricing mo, maganda yung brand mo, everything is aligned. It's in sync. So now, if nag ka ng price and kumonti yung deals mo, then it's a matter of really just balancing like, is it better? Kahit na tatlo yan eh, kung mas malaki yung kita mo at saka konting time at pareho lang pala yung makukuha mo, di, di okay, fine. I'll, you'll stick with that pricing. Pero pag kunwari, matumaas ka and wala kang nakuha ang deal, that means may something wrong dun sa pricing mo. So maybe take it a notch down. So that's a very good, like that's the quickest, maganda yung siya mo nga eh, ang galing, kasi parang that's the quickest way you can actually know if your pricing works. Di ba? Okay. Um, okay, so... Ah, uh, meron pa ba tayo hindi na discuss? Any last advice? Siguro sa ano, last call for the, ano, especially for the newbies na, syempre, wala rin naman talaga silang idea how, 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 ano yung tamang price, di ba? So, yes. best talaga, when someone asks you, parang, oh, this is the set of, uh, scope of work, blah, 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 and, oh, uh, how much will you charge? So, best answer daw talaga, is based on experience then, is you answer back, parang, okay, so, I have no idea, how much, parang, may I know what your budget is, and maybe I can work from, from there, or we can, we can talk about it from there. So, you can do that by na, tatutunungin mo sila kung magkano yung budget, and kung workable pa sa'yo, kung doable pa sa'yo yung budget nila, and then take into consideration yung mga sinabi ko kanina na, ikaw ang model, ikaw ang scriptwriter, ikaw ang photographer, ikaw ang lahat, Mm-hmm. tapos sa tingin mo lang okay naman yung price na binigay nila sa'yo versus dun sa scope of work na hinihingi nila sa'yo and then go for it and then ayun na nga and then observe lang talaga na kung sa susunod na project mo kung ganito rin so ibig sabihin kung ganito pala yung pre- price range mo pwede ka na mag-stick sa ganong klase ng price range 
Yeah, that's true. And also, don't forget, pwede kayo mag-search online. Like, merong mga tips online also, like, um, how other bloggers price themselves, may videos, how other bloggers price themselves, and use it as a benchmark. You don't necessarily have to copy it, but at least, parang you'll have an idea of magkano pag ganito yung followers, magkano pag ganito yung number of likes or engagement, diba? So, yon. So, that's another tip. Another tip siguro is be, um, yun, in terms of dealing with brands, no? be very professional as well. No? All of us, like I'm assuming then si Mommy Pepot has a media kit. No? Start with that. Start developing your media kit. Um, it's a very good exercise because what you put in the media kit is basically a description about who you are and who your audience is. If hindi mo siya ma-define, may something wrong. <laughs> diba? Pag gusto mo i-target yung buong Pilipinas, may mali na doon. Kasi parang hindi mo kailangan sa sarili mo. <laughs> diba? So, maganda, diba? magandang indication. What's in your media kit, Pepo? Like, like breathe, breathe through it. Like, ano yung content niya? Like, aside from the price. Anong ko? Yeah. Uh, usually, it's like uh, I have about me yes. and a photo of our family. So, parang to say na, oh, I'm a mommy blogger. And, of course, the services that I offer. Mm-hmm. Uh, ano pa ba nandun? And some testimonials from ano, from people that I have worked with. And, yeah, yun. Yun, diba? So, so basically, so, a brief description about me and what I what I usually write. Yeah, so yun. So, kung dun palang nahihirapan na kayo na ilagay, maybe think about your branding more. Kasi that's an indication na hindi, kung hindi klaro, ito na lang isipin nyo. Kung hindi klaro sa inyo, hindi rin klaro sa brand. Klaro, hindi so, klaro na. sa kanis. Klaro. <laughs> diba? Exactly. So, parang kung hindi mo kilala yung sarili mo, kilala ninyo muna. So, yun yung... Lalo ka namin, hindi makikilala. <laughs> exactly. Yon. So, that's one. Oh, any last tip or advice that you can give, Pepo, to, to the audience, yung mga viewers natin? Siguro for ano, sabi, ano hin natin, for, for the old bloggers, yung mga, hindi, hindi old, anong, ta, anong, anong pwede mga itawag sa atin? Mga veterans. Mga veterans. Or in, OG, OG oh, bloggers. Yes, OG. So, I think, kasi me, medyo ano tayo eh, nasa, nasa pagitan tayo ng millennial tsaka ng ng Gen X, di ba? Tama ba? Gen X, Gen Y. So, ganyan. So, the problem is, didas kasi, is nakita ko din naman to, kahit nung nag-start ako, is medyo mahihain talaga tayo. So, I think, what we need to do is, is, is to go out there, to, to, ano, to, to show yourself, to, to, to speak from the heart. Medyo, mahina tayo sa ganyan eh, kasi, kasi karamihan sa atin na medyo nasa ganitong edad, ako na, ganitong edad eh. We're, never, we're very afraid to 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 show our our fears, our emotions, yung ganyan tung na pag sobrang saya tayo, sometimes we're, we're afraid to do that. So, I think yun yung medyo mas naging, naging effective sa akin is to to show yung emotions, to show how I feel, kung natatakot ba ako, kung 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 natutuwa ba ako, nalulungkot ba ako. So, parang in a way, uh, no filter, oh, may filter pa din, pero what I I'm trying to say is be open especially to your readers. So so think of them as your friends or online friends or yung yung para siyang para silang barkada mo, parang ganyan. And lastly, siguro ito rin isa sa mga napansin ko or isa din sa sa kar- kung kung if there is something that I will tell to my younger self, ito 'yon. Ah, uh, be nice to the agency. <laughs> kasi, kasi tao din sila and then if they have ah uh, kung meron kang Ah, uh, kung meron kang deadline sa kanila, meron din silang deadline sa brand. So, treat them as your uh, as 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 anong tawag dito as your coworker or as your kakampe oh, and not, not treat them as someone na 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 kalaban mo or boss mo, parang ganoon. Kasi when I was younger din ganun din naman ako, parang parang I I I always feel na parang this this agencies are are doing this to make uh life harder for the bloggers. Pero as I grow older, tapos as, as, as marami na ako nakakasalamuhan ng mga agencies, na-realize ko na hindi naman, uh, kagaya natin, kagaya ng iba pang tao, andito lang sila to work and to do their job and nothing personal. So don't, don't take everything na personal. So treat it always as, as, uh, as, as, uh, as professional as you can. Right. Tapos sa mga newbies naman, ano eh, kasi andito na kayo, parang, and, and everything is, is sobrang dali na lang. Lahat ng information mo, kaya mo nang makuha na mag-chat ka lang someone, makipag-usap ka lang 
someone or mag-research ka lang. Andiyan na lahat. Andiyan na yung andiyan na yung andiyan na yung lahat ng kailangan mo. So make use of that and and always um wag kang mahihiyang magtanong because this this bloggers especially katulad namin nila Ginger, yung mga medyo uh, original OG bloggers. Hindi naman kami nangangain ng tao and and we're, we're very ano naman. We were we like to share. We love to share what we know hangga't maaari, 'di ba? So Ayun, make use of the technology and and ano kung kung nagawa ko don't, don't ever doubt yourself kasi kung nagawa namin nung time namin na ang hirap I mean ang bagal ng internet tapos all the technical challenges talaga mahirap parang hindi mo alam kung anong gagawin mo pero nagawa namin and look at us we're still here so mm-hmm. kung nagda-doubt ka sa sarili mo kung kaya mo I'm sure you can do it kaya mo yun yeah very well said, Mommy Pepot. So, thank you again for guesting in my GTV show. I'm sure marami na naman natutunan yung ating mga viewers today. Uh, I think meron sila clear idea na of how this industry works, so how mommy blogging works, how to get into it, how to survive it, diba? How we survived it. And How we survived it, exactly. Yeah, and even like your relationship with PRs. I'm sure a lot of PRs and brands also watching this. No, this um, this is how we are. No, and we're also people. So basically, just yeah, collaborate with us and be partners. Yes, we'll we'll help you, naman, eh, through it all. So if you like this, please like. Uh, share this video with your friends and then subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. So stay tuned for more videos like this, very informative videos like this. Uh, That's it. So thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.